In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to engrave on a cylindrical jar using the step length method. If you're not familiar with the step length method, please refer to the previous video. All right, let's continue. Firstly, we need a vernier caliper to measure the diameter of our cylindrical object, 110. Now that we know our diameter, we need to input that into the controller. We press menu, user setting, scroll down to rotating, and input the diameter of the cylindrical object. All right, so we go 110, we input it and write. Escape. Now we go to the manufacturer setting, enter, and if it asks you a password, it's RD888. If not, go to Y and input the step length value from your previous calculation. Right. And once you changed, you write. Now our rotary unit is ready to be plugged in. I'm just gonna place that there. Right. Remember to put your motor this side and plug in your rotary unit. Now we take our glass jar, rear of the glass goes furthest, front of the glass goes to the controller side. We bring our axis in. So I just want to place it center of the glass and mark the position. So I want to print my bottle from the curvy uh, rim of the bottle to the bottom curve as well. So I want to grave on this section here. So I can measure that out. So I got 75. Right, so I need to mark my origin. All right, from here on, we go to the PC. So from here on, I'm just gonna do a quick file using a template from one of our softwares for the vinyl cutters. It's a vectorizing software. So I'm just gonna go to the library and pick something up, anything. So I'm just gonna pick this out and resize it to suit my needs. So I'm gonna make it 60 and adjust it proportionally uh, to page. I'm just gonna centralize it in the page and export my file out of final cut as a PLT. And I'm just gonna call it jar with the plot origin of bottom right. And that's done. Now, I'm going to RDUX. In RDUX, I go to File, Import, and look for my file. Got my file jar, and import it in. First thing is to group it into one thing, pick my color for laser engraving. All right, so now we need to rotate our artwork so that the top side is facing that side, which is where our bottle is also facing that side. So they must face each other on the orientation and mirror. So I'm going to rotate it by uh, let me first uh, flip it, right, and rotate it by 90. And then mirror it vertically and downward. Call it jar and send to the machine. Right, let's switch on the rotor. From the machine, it's file. and start. All 
All right, it's done. Look at that. You know, some people are scared to use the rotary. Well, knowledge is power. And these rotaries have got so many great uses. I hope you liked the video. See you in the next one.